Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new SBC Parasage card to review today. So, we're taking a look at a card who is... Six foot one, medium, medium work rates, left footed, four star skill moves with a five star weak foot. So pretty decent so far, obviously. Uh, In-game player traits, the card has the flare traits, in-game attributes. 93 acceleration, 92 for sprint speed. Finishing is at an 88. Dribbling is set up the way that it is. I mean, to be fair, a basic doesn't look bad on him. I don't mind the basic. I don't mind the basic, but it's probably going to be like most of the cards in this game, an engine chemistry style flex, right? Because he's a six foot one player, high and average plus body type. So you want to improve that as much as possible. And engine formats the card really nicely where you just have to work with his finishing being at an 88. So you do have to work high percentage strike angles as much as possible. Pace is at a 98 to 97 with it. Passing is really good. Yeah, I think that the engine chemistry style is going to make the most sense. You need to... You need to give him that boost because of how tall he is, like most of the players in this game. So let's see if I actually have it here. If I don't, then I have to go pick it up. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Unless I am blind, I do not see it. Okay, so Parasage, guys. In-game attributes, uh, we are going to be boosting the pace to be at a very good area. Obviously, with the pace being increased, it should be good to use in the side positions as well as through the middle. 85 stamina is kind of a low cutoff. To be honest, if you actually want to use him as a left mid coming back in defense, like I can see his stamina being depleted quite quickly, but it's like an okay area. It's not terrible by any means. Uh, shooting for the card uh, is in a pretty decent area too. I'm curious to see how that medium, medium work rate is going to work. Uh, it's probably going to be a card that I would probably mainly use in the side positions because of height and body type, but he could be a good physical type striker through the middle. We'll obviously see. Uh, base card stats for passing. Very good on the card with the engine chemistry style. We will be improving that as well. Uh, dribbling we will be experimenting with because he does have the high and average plus body type, right? Uh, if we boost the dribbling as much as possible, which is going to be at a 99 for balance, 97 for agility, with a 99 for dribbling, hopefully that actually comes out really nicely. This card actually has defensive capabilities, which is really good, actually. I didn't. I just noticed that. So he has 70 defense. So what if you give him like an anchor or a shadow? Oh, look at that. Oh, see, that changes a lot. That changes a whole lot because that by default can make you, that could be your attacking oriented midfielder. Or if you use him in the side positions, he could be your attacking and defensive oriented left mid, right mid. I like this actually. This is actually really good. See, that defense just changed everything, you know? Yeah, that's actually nice. On an engine chemistry style, some defensive capabilities is really nice to have, considering he's a tall player too. So even if I just want to give him an engine and play him in the side areas for that 3 4 one, two, I think that'd be fine as well. That's pretty cool, actually. Okay, so defensive stats are there, and he has some physical too. 86 for strength. The 85 stamina is the, is the, is the part that's like a little bit weird, you know? But he also has 96 jumping too, which is actually pretty helpful. 96 jumping, 88 heading accuracy. Okay, interesting. So yeah, I'll get the engine chemistry style for him. Uh, the way that we're going to be lined up in-game is going to be as normal. Uh, we're going to put... Um, I, need to f I need to get like... This is the review account. I need to get like midfielders for the Serie A players when I do the reviews for them. But um, yeah, we'll put Perisic up top here. Brahim through the middle. Put him on the side. Instructions will only be getting behind, stay forward. For the review, do we want to try it on the other side? Yeah, we'll do that for the review. Because he has a weak foot too, right? So, cool. All right, let's go try him out, guys. Hopefully he's a beast. I mean, the acceleration already comes off nice, and he starts off with a defensive play too. No chance I get this, right? Oh, imagine. If he doesn't go for the first time pass, sometimes you get lucky with like the bounces and stuff. So, I always try it just in case. Hmm. Solid dribbles. Um, I worked the shot cancel angle there. I Maybe, mean, I don't know, man. Finesse shots from that angle, they're just not like that good. That's why I don't really try them. Nice. Holds the onside position really well there. We'll take that. Ooh, hello. Oh, 
<laughs> I was like, you know what? Imagine I get the rebound with the header from that angle. It'd be kind of nuts. First time. There we go. Nicely done. Yeah, his dribbling is really not that bad with the engine. Like, his body type's not really annoying me that much. Usually the high and average plus isn't super ideal, but... Yeah, I shouldn't have shot that direction. That was pretty stupid on my part. Oh, that was good, though. Small little dribbles actually came off great there. Okay. Okay, go for the near post there with Courtois. Quaresma, you know, Quaresma just tastes too saucy, guys. It's too saucy. Oh, it's a pen. He touched the ball there. Really? Okay. I'll take your word for it. Oh, wow. That chip actually worked. <laughs> okay. I mean, he's put, he pushed up the goalkeeper a little bit, so I was like, I'm going to give it a try. Worked out. So, Perisic, guys, actually makes really solid runs. I'm noticing that I don't care about his work rates being medium-medium uh, for the most part. And his dribbling is not as bad as I thought it would be, considering the fact that he has the high and average plus body type. Like, look at the dribbles with the small little left sticks. Like, they come off great. You're going to notice some push touches, like, situations like that. Look at that run. If their pass comes off better, I can actually get that. See? And that's a shot cancel too, right? Goalkeeper gets close to you. Quick little sharp dribbles. Works out great. Nice. Responsive too on that ball roll. Very responsive. Saw the run. Made a great run. Yeah, his dribbling is way better than it should be, like, for sure. It's like, I don't know, man. It's almost like they did something to some of the medium mediums with some of the players, because Mkhitaryan doesn't have a bad medium medium either. In the beginning of the year, like, yeah, the medium medium was chalked, man. Yeah, not a bad finesse shot. Pretty far, came off of the ball roll touch, too. Yeah, see, the fact that he has, like, defensive qualities is super helpful, man. Because that, that means I can use him in the midfield position, you know? Okay, that's over the bar for that one. Pretty far, to be fair. Pretty far. Hmm, yeah. Responsive on the shot cancels. Pretty fast, pretty fast. Oh, because he actually defends. So interesting, man. Oh, <laughs> I try to work the spaces, man. I try to. First time. Ooh, Varan. Okay, bro. I get it. I get it. You're a beast. I get it. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, try to work some small dribbles there. Small, small dribbles.
Oh my goodness, the defender from Narnia gets the ball there. Is he onside? Oh, good finish. Oi! Oh, this guy kept pushing Eker towards me. Yo, chill, my boy, chill. Yvonne Paris at 85 pounds. Let's go left side. Let's get it. Oh, he's got the height for it. Yvonne. Yeah, so I wanted to try a regular strike. You don't want to do that when the goalkeeper is pushing you. You either want to go for like a chip or a ball roll touch across. But I guess in a situation like that, you can kind of see the base finishing being lower. But again, it's not a shot you would have taken in a regular situation like that. That's not going to go in. Yeah. I kind of wanted to try a strike from a little closer just to see how, uh, how it would kind of come off. Again, when the goalkeeper gets too close to you like that, you have to go for the extras or else it's going to be an easy save. Yeah, we'll take that. Well done. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Ivan Perisic card. So, guys, in regards to how he performs in game, I do think that generally speaking, uh, most people are probably going to be giving him the engine chemistry style to make his... Uh, dribbling as responsive as possible, giving him all that extra pace while working with really, really good passing stats because a card like this, guys, because he has defensive capabilities, can be really good to use as your attacking oriented center mid. So there's a lot of people that use the 4 1 2 and 2, uh, some people that use the 4 3 3 formation, and they always, you know, tend to have an attacking oriented midfielder in that team. This is going to be that type of card that's actually going to work out well in that position because, hey, Let's just say, for instance, you don't want to give him the engine chemistry style. This card was defending for me in the striker position when I don't even have any defensive like stats on him. But you can give him a shadow, and then you would just work with the dribbling as it is. You have crazy pace. Not even a shadow, excuse me. You can give him an anchor, if anything. Give him a little bit of extra physical, a little bit of extra pace with the defending, and that would work out great, too. So cards like this are always really cool because they're the versatile cards you can use in any way that you want. But the fact that he offers defensive capabilities i think is a really big thing because if i'm using him in that left mid area for that three four one two formation it would be dope to have now it's one of those situations that obviously no matter what chemistry style you give him you're always going to feel like you're lacking in something right i feel like when it comes to these tall guys six foot one high and average plus body type that balance boost is always super super helpful but because that's close to the 99 area his dribbling actually worked out great in game you can give him a finisher chemistry style, right, to boost his finishing as much as possible, just in case, you know, there's certain angles that you may miss from because they're not high percentage strikes. In FIFA, there's like four or five uh, to have the biggest consistency. It's just how FIFA works, right? Uh, yeah, you can give him a finisher so that's more consistent uh, as much as possible. But I do think that for the general experience, most people are going to want to give him the engine chemistry style so that he has the pace, he has the dribbling and the passing. And then you would just work those high percentage strike angles as much as possible, right? So um, I actually enjoyed using the card, to be honest with you. As an SPC, a card like this that has a five-star weak foot uh, that has the 95 shot power to compensate for the finishing being low, I think is a very, very important thing to look at here. So I would say that the two main things that are low on the card, depending on where you want to play him, is sometimes going to be stamina at an 85. It's usually nice that it cut off at like 87, 88, right? But even still nowadays, uh, because of the pressure tactics, these players, you know? But uh, yeah, it's going to be that and the finishing, right? You don't really want to often take long shots with them, although he can score them from time to time. Obviously, you have to work like certain angles and kind of get lucky in certain parts. He's not that type of card, right? He's not going to be like a Lionel Messi or anything like that. But uh, to be honest with you guys, I don't mind the SBC. Uh, the price is like kind of glitched right now on Footbin because people didn't really create this team yet. 21k, I highly doubt that's how that works. But uh, yeah, so 56k, 145k, 145k, and then there is the last one too. So the SPC is like what? Around like, I would say like 250, 300, 145 for that one. So the next one, 145, 200, 300k. Yeah. 300k as an SBC is a little bit up there in price, I would say, for sure. But 
I don't mind the card. He performs better than I thought he would, right? Again, the medium medium work rate is not bad. It's actually it actually performs well in game. Uh, and then the high and average plus body type is not as bad either because the engine chemistry style actually helps it out more. There's just specific dribbles that obviously because of that height, you'll notice him drag the ball like when it's pressured situations or when he actually has to do like a full turn. Like obviously it's not going to be as responsive as someone like Bernardo Silva, but different types of players. So so on footbin, the SPCs is actually kind of messed up. It's actually 220k. Uh, so with this card, guys, with the potential of him getting upgraded, the main parts that he needs to be upgraded in is going to be for stamina and for finishing. But I'm just telling you guys this right now, that if he does get upgraded, he's actually a pretty solid card. Those are the two things that are the main things that is kind of underwhelming on the cards of finishing from certain angles. Obviously, you work high percentage strikes anyways, but from certain angles, if you want to be able to shoot, 88 finishing from time to time is going to be low. So having that being increased for base card stats, is going to be important so it's a card that you know you rely on heavily to get that boost but it's not bad to work with as of right now so not a bad spc at 220k but those boosts on the card will definitely make it way better because he already has the base potential because his medium medium is good and his body type doesn't bother me that much with his dribbling it's just a matter of improving those two areas of the card as much as possible to make him as good as possible because guys it's a card that has defensive stats so versatile cards by default are great to work with when it comes to the meta of the games because you can use them in pretty much any position if i want to use them in the center mid area left mid area right mid area striker area it doesn't matter you can use them anywhere and these cars are always super super fun to work with so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video today i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys